Hi, my name is Ariana Pirela Sanchez and I'm a choreographer and a dancer living in Montreal. So what we're going to do today, we're going to try to get you to answer as many questions as you can in 60 seconds. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. <laughs> okay, I'm starting the club now. At what time of day are you most creative? In the morning. In the, ooh, I'm not a morning person. At <laughs> all. Okay. Um, what's your favorite dessert? Uh, cheesecake. Ooh. <laughs> what's your favorite flavor? What? Which kind of flavor? Yeah. Um, with strawberries or blueberries on the top. Hmm, that's nice. I actually am not a fan of blueberries that much. Okay, 30 seconds. Which artist are you inspired by right now? There is one visual artist that I like a lot, and her name is Maria Escurra. She's an Argentina Mexican. Argentina Mexican visual artist. Um, one more question before 10 seconds left. Well, what are three most important traits that every dancer must have? I think that every dancer needs to be creative mm -hmm. and needs to be. Um, you have to, or he or she needs to have an interest in the body, and it doesn't matter what it is. And another one, creative, body, and empathic. I think that we all need to be empathic with the other ones. Oh, yeah. That's something that I didn't think about. I know emotion, I think a lot of emotion because I did a little bit of dance, but I never thought of empathy. Tell me a little bit more about that. Um, I think that when you have empathy about others, you can talk about those subjects with more, um, being more deep about it because you kind of connect with uh, what others are living or the experience that the other are having. So you can connect more with other people and you connect even more with the audience because you have empathy for the things that they're living. Uh, thank you so much for sharing. Yeah. I just want to circle back to your favorite artist right now. Tell me a little bit about her. You said she was from South America? Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually uh, knew her last week. <laughs> it's, she's new in my life and I did an interview with her and she well, I worked a lot with uh, feminist issues and objects and she used also a lot of things with the body so I get really inspired by the use of uh, objects in their work and especially because she has a deep connection with the, these female issues. Awesome. Okay, well, just the last thing for a little video. Uh, tell us what's coming up program-wise for you in the next year. So in the next year, I'm working in different projects. I'm working on uh, cultural mediation uh, projects with the community. I have a big interest, big interest in the uh, community staff. So I like to work with uh, dance, uh, going through those communities and see how dance can help them. I have another show that is called Du Solitude, the Dance Women Présence. Uh, that I'm gonna start touring a little bit more next year. So I'm gonna present it in different Maison de la Culture in Montréal and I'm hoping to go uh, in other places in Quebec, in Ontario and all in other places in Canada. Du Solitude Dans au même présent is a dance piece, it's a duet that I uh, create, uh, that I finished the creation uh, this year in March. And it's a piece that talks about my migration process and how I lived this process uh, since I came uh, to Canada 10 years ago. So we are a duet that we kind of uh, represent this travel, this uh, ev event that I had in my life. And I use a mix of contemporary dance uh, and I use a contemporary dance language that I mix with traditional dance. Uh, uh, so it's not one of another, it's more contemporary dance, but you can see like pieces of traditional dance that I used to dance when I was little. And yeah, that's uh, pretty much what is coming up. Awesome, thanks so much.